Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to create an, and explain how to make a few reports within Access. Before we get started you will need a table of information such as what's on the screen now. If you don't have this I recommend you go and create this first and then come back to the video. If you don't know how to create this I do have another video where you can create a simple input form to update a table such as shown. So now that you have your table of information you will need to go to the Create tab and choose Report Wizard. I'm choosing Report Wizard to keep it really simple, really basic to begin with. You want to choose the table of your, of your information from the drop down and put across the fields that you want to show on the report. So I'm going to put them all across by using the two double arrows. Uh, this is where you can choose a grouping level, which I'll come back to in a bit. You can then choose what information to be in a ascending or descending order such as I'm going to put the delivery dates into an ascending order and then you can choose the layout of how you would like the report to look and the how you if you wanted to print it what the orientation of the paper would be. I'm going to choose tabular for now. Here you can choose what the uh, style of the report can look like just different colours and stuff if you wanted to make, make it look good and then you can choose the name of what you report you want it to be. And I'm going to choose to preview the report to show what it would look like. So this is what the report looks like at the moment with the delivery date, the ID, the record, the customer and the delivery quantity. Obviously it doesn't look very good at the moment but this is where you can right click and go into the design view or design view down at the bottom right corner here you can change the way it looks, change the layout. At the minute you can't really move stuff around. This is because they're stacked at the moment. If you were to highlight them all and go to arrange and press remove you'll be able to move everything around separately. You can change the size, you can change the font, you can make it bold, italic, whatever your preference is. Now I'm going to show you what the grouping part of a report can be. So again if you go to create onto the wizard and do the same again. When you get to the grouping, say I wanted to group it by customer, this will group all the records by the customer. So if we follow the same again, I'm going to choose the outline so it blocks it all out separately and again you can choose the style and I'm going to preview the port straight away for you and here this makes it a bit more better to look at straight away pretty much you can see how it groups it by each customer puts the delivery dates into an ascending order blah 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 and again you can still go into the design view and change everything around put stuff in it, put pictures in, put different text boxes, variables, whatever you want to show on each record. You can go onto the property sheet, go onto the format, here you got your board, you can put borders in if you want them, at the moment it's uh, transparent so you can add it in as solid dashes. If you want a back colour you can choose the back colour here or you, uh, if you have it highlighted you can choose it from the design part at the top. That's pretty much all the reasons to create in a basic report. I'm going to create a few more videos in reference to this one of how you can filter down the report. There is currently another video on YouTube where you can look at doing a date range, filtering down the report into a date range. Um, if you like the video, hit like, subscribe, comment what you want to what you would like a video on and I'll, I'll see what I can do. Cheers everyone.